Okay, so the question was um, doing multiple images on the same sheet um, so you don't waste space on a transfer or anything like that. So um, here's how I would do this. And someone mentioned the, the step and repeat, which is dead on. Um, but if you don't know how to do that, it's tricky because you'd have to Google it and figure it out. Um, but there's, there's, no, there's no real... Um, menu for it. So first thing I'm going to do is um, click on the top object, okay, hold down shift and select the last one. These three elements make up my cool guy clothing company logo right there. Um, I'm going to press control G to put it in a group. Now I'm going to right click on that group and duplicate the group because I want to do, I'm going to, I'm going to show you one way and then I'm going to show you another. Okay, um, so we'll hide that one. Now this group, let me expand it. This group, I'm going to right click and hit merge group. Okay, so that just created a, um, a flattened merged version, um, just those elements. Um, so the, what you want to do is with that selected, you go control T and resize it to what you need. Put it in a spot there. Okay. So now you're going to hold down Control Alt T, and that's going to take it into a transfer mode. But it's going to, um, it's also going to record the steps, okay? But it's also going to duplicate. So without holding anything, I just dragged over, and it's creating a second version. But I'm going to hold down Shift so it snaps horizontally, okay? Commit that. Now. I'm going to do the same keys, but I'm adding shift. So control, alt, shift, T, T. Okay. So now I've got those all pasted all over. And it's the same distance. Whatever I move this over here, the same distance is here and here. It just moves it over the exact same. So I'm going to take all these, same thing. I'm going to highlight all those. I'm going to do control, E to merge them. Now I'm going to do control, alt, T to get in the step transform mode. I drag down, hold shift so it snaps, let go, and commit. Now I'm going to do control, shift, alt, T, T, T. There you go. So that's the step and repeat in Photoshop. Um, me personally, I don't like to work destructively. So um, number one, that's why I have this group right here, because if I wanted to, I can... I could delete all these, change the color of the text, and start all over. Um, the other way that I would do this, um, let's delete all those. We'll get rid of our background. Let's just crop this down a bit. Okay. So what I would do here is I would crop it down, make it, make sure it's like a nice kind of large size. Um, and do file, save as, and then I'm going to just save it to the desktop as cool guy logo, because it's a cool guy company. Okay, that's stupid. Save it as a Photoshop file, hit OK, hit OK, save it out, we're all good. Now I'm going to go into Illustrator. I like the step and repeat um, in Illustrator way better, because it just does what you want to do. Okay, so 13 by 19 film, what your other might be 15 by 15 transfer paper, whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, uh, Place. Shift Control P, go to the desktop, find my cool guy logo, double click and bring it in. Okay. Um, I obviously didn't spend time cleaning up the cool guy thing then it, that I downloaded from the internet, but for this purpose, it just doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say we want this guy to be uh, like three and a quarter by three and three quarter. Okay, so I put that where I want him to be. Now here's the step and repeat in Illustrator and why I love it so much. So first go to Effect, and then you're going to do trans Distort and Transform, and you'll do Transform. OK, 
Okay. The first thing you want to do is move. We want to preview it. And we want to create one copy. And we want to move it horizontally. Three point one two five. You could you could go more, or you could go right to where three point two five. So there's a little gap in there. And here's the rad part. Let's just add more copies. Let's just add more. Pretty slick. You want it to go on a diagonal? Let's do that. Nah. Okay. So here's what the here's what you got to do. We got three copies there. We're gonna hit OK. Okay. Now when I move this one, they're all together. You could, I think, double click to get in. Nope. Okay, so we have all ours there. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go effect, distort, transform, and it's going to say, do you want to change it or apply new? We want to apply new effect. Okay, so this time we're going to go vertically. So let's turn on our preview, create a copy so we can see it. Now we want to... 3.75 and just create your more copies. And hit OK. So now the fun part is this is all connected. It's all a simple um, step and repeat goes three, adds three more to the side and adds four more to the bottom. So that's how I do it. Um, and then the reason I do do that is let's say we go back to Photoshop um, and you actually I'll be mad if this doesn't work but we take these two um, we want to make the font the same color oh, come on there we go we make the font the font the same color when we save it out did it save? File, save, yeah. Okay, when we go back to Illustrator, it's going to ask if, we, if some files are missing. Do you want to update? You say yes. When you bring it open, look, they're all changed. So that's why I do that. I work back and forth, and it's non-destructive because your, your Photoshop file is what you built it in. Take it into Illustrator to lay out and do real quick. Um, to be honest, I would have done this particular graphic in Illustrator to be all vector. But anyway, um, I hope that makes sense. Um, you can do it in Photoshop, of course, but I like the um, transform step and repeat in Illustrator. So let me know if you have any questions.